Hey guys, working on a 2014 Mazda 6, um, and today we have a P011A code, uh, which stands for your ECT sensor, also known as your engine coolant engine coolant temperature sensor. There are two. If you look down here, let me see here if I can get that. It's right by the thermostat. Where you see that? that connector on it on the housing that is your sensor one so usually if you have a code that has an a or a b usually means that there's two of them the a one is here this is the first is the primary coolant temperature sensor location i think if it's a p011b it'll be this one way back here on the firewall right there in case Depending on what your situation is. So the only thing I can really see that I need to move, possibly, is this right here. So pop this up, just get a flathead, and then slide it down and out. You can move this. Just gonna lift that up and hold on. And do something like that now let me see so let's talk about it because i'm about to pull it out now i use these little pliers right here and i squeeze in these tabs hold it out there's another one like once you pull this out you can see a hole in here that leads right to this so this harness right here, I did the same thing. I just got my tabs like this. I went down, I, I, I pinched that little press tab in and I pulled, this little hand is a little tight in here. And I pulled that out just like that. Okay, so now getting that sensor out is not easy. It's in a really shitty spot. So, got my flathead like this. It's hard to see, but you can run your hand right, I think, I don't know if this is a, I don't know what this is actually, but you can run your hand right underneath it here like this. And if you see, see my, my wrench right here. Press the wrench. I mean, press the, the flathead up against the sensor like that and pull I'm gonna show you guys one last trick to help you when it comes to these sensors sometimes they're they're really old when plastic gets dry and hard it'll just break or it's really hard to get the clip to come off of the sensor you can actually spray a little bit of WD-40 on here and then it'll kind of like give the plastic more flexibility for it to move again. This should be what the sensor looks like. Like so. What you can do is you get your new sensor to find out what size the old one is. And I found out it's a 3 fourths. I think 3 fourths is also equivalent to like 19 mil. So if you see right here, it fits like a glove. So. I'm gonna try to slide it on there and see if we can break it off. And the part number I'm using is a SU4007. It's a Duralast part. So you got the part number too. All right, I have my little wobble socket, night three fourths. And let's see here. And I'm on there, just like that. Now, get an extension and see if I can twist this out right I realized that putting this back down helps me get my long extension in here like that the only thing I'm scared about is I don't know how much coolant I'm going to lose doing this technically if you pop this you'll release the pressure which could be a good thing or a bad thing if I pop this open it could cause a lot of coolant to want to rush out of that hole or if I leave it closed because it has pressure in it 
it might not actually I might not lose so much coolant so that's the only part I'm a little bit skeptical about but Ooh. That took a lot of power. Do myself a favor here and pull this. Just like that. Boom. Yeah, so I guess it was a good idea. I guess it was a good idea to not um to not actually crack that radiator cap open so now the fun part here is just trying to get this to screw into that hole the cool part is if you get this little nub right here in the hole it actually just falls right into place so now let's start screwing it in As a as a pro tip, I really would want to put this sensor like facing in the up position or just somewhere your hand can kind of get to it a little bit better. But based on what I'm working with here, I mean it's kind of in a good spot. It's facing downward. It's a lot, it's a lot of hand space down there. So with some muscle, you could probably still get it out. Let's pop this in. Hear that snap? There we go. Good. Got our snap. Got our little piece right here. Push that in. Get you. Push you in. And then slide this hose back down. Put you back on. Like that. And then, oh. Uh, I did take this bolt out right here. Didn't need to. I thought I might have been able to just pull this up and out, but I can't. So I'm gonna put this little eight mil back on. All right, let's clear the codes up and start it up. Let's always, you know, always start it up. Check for leaks. All righty. Now that the car is running, I'm gonna let it run for about mm, like five minutes. It's just like that. We ain't got no leaks. We're looking good. All right, you guys, and we are all good here. Thanks for watching. Till next time, out.